Your message is excluding people. Um, you're excluding me. You're excluding people that look like me. You're excluding people of color. You're excluding, you know, Americans that um, that maybe support you. We need to have um, a reckoning with um, the message that you have and what you're saying about make America great again. Um, I think that you're harking back to an era that was not great for everyone. We knew that this win, if we were able to, to win, was gonna be bigger than soccer, but that moment, I think, just solidified everything. It was like, this World Cup win is so much more than what was on the field. Mm. Um, it seems like one of those just sort of iconic turning points um, in history, to be honest. Would you go, would your teammates go? Um, I would not go, and every teammate that I've talked to explicitly about it would not go. Um, everyone that you've talked to? Everyone that I've talked to, yeah. I don't, think, I don't think anyone on the team has any interest in lending the platform that we've worked so hard to, to build and um, the things that we fight for and the, the way that we live our life. I don't think that we want that to be co-opted or corrupted by this administration. It's really more about the investment in the game. Is the investment equal? We're talking marketing dollars and branding and investment in the youth, investment in the players, investment in the coaching staff. Um, I don't think that that's there. I don't think that that's ever been there. I think the men's side of sports just in general is seen as this exciting opportunity, business opportunity that needs to be invested in. The women's is like, how cheap can we do this while you know, sort of keeping them happy?